is a wonderful salad to keep in the refrigerator, to have as a snack, to have as a salad, add toasted pita crisps to it. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm going to make you a Mediterranean tomato, cucumber, and artichoke salad. So here's what we're going to do. I personally like to peel the cucumbers. I don't like the tough skin. That's just a personal preference. I know a lot of people leave the skin on, but it's not my thing. So anyway, peel the cucumber, and then we're going to slice, in this case, a red onion, because I like the flavor of it a little bit better, in about a good, oh, half to one inch size piece. You want to be able to get it in your mouth as the object and not really big, in my opinion. And then the cucumber will cut down the middle. And the seeds don't really look too bad in this. If the seeds were really big, sometimes they can be extremely large, uh, big seeds, or, you know, very large seeds. Anyway, uh, since these aren't, I am just going to cut the cucumber in quarters and then to give it a little eye appeal as opposed to a straight cut I'm going to angle this a little bit and go right across and that's going to go to the bowl and then I know they're out of season however I have a vine ripe Florida tomato that should have, you know, halfway decent flavor, except we are in the Midwest and I know the difference between a summer tomato, but for what I'm doing, this will actually be a good salad. And so we're going to cut this across the top. And then because it's a large tomato, maybe three slices across. Helps to have a really sharp knife too, by the way. And then, as that gets smaller, we'll cut that down. And this is going to go to the bowl. Then what I'm going to add is a little bit of chopped green onion. We're going to add some garlic. Gotta have that, can't live without the garlic. So the garlic I'm going to smash really well and then chop it up a bit okay as you can see this is relatively fine by keeping this in a nice small square you can get it fine so we'll put that in the bowl and then I'm going to add a few marinated artichoke hearts. These are really good. They add a little interest and they're actually quite tasty. It doesn't take a lot. So in go the artichoke hearts. Easier out of the jar? Absolutely. Fresh in season? Mm, that's really good too. And then I am also going to add a few capers. Capers are lovely in this salad. Just a few, doesn't take a lot. Then, as part of the dressing seasoning, also in the summer, I love fresh mint. Fresh mint's a great additive to this, but it's not quite time yet. So I'm going to turn this into the winter version, which will be a little bit of dried oregano. And then we're going to salt this a bit and pepper it. Okay, nice healthy dose of fresh ground pepper. And then the juice of a lemon. Can never have too much juice of a lemon. I love fresh lemon juice. Adds a nice fresh lively taste to this. I am also going to add just a splash of red wine vinegar, not a lot, and then some extra virgin olive oil. Got to use the extra virgin olive oil because that's where a lot of the flavor is coming from. A pinch of sugar, not a lot, 
just a little bit, whoops, maybe a half a teaspoon or so, and then we'll mix it. The rest of that garlic up from that. Oh, and also what we want to do for flavor and for chlorophyll and appearance as well is to add some fresh chopped parsley. Clean it. The way I like to clean parsley is fairly simple. Take the parsley in between your three fingers and just pull the leaf off. You pull from the stem towards the leaf and it comes right off. I don't like to put too much stem in it because the sometimes the stems, depending on where it's grown, are a little bit too tough. So pull the, pull the leaf off the stem and then bunch it up in your hands nice and tight because that's the easiest way to chop it. And actually what you're doing is giving it a little bit of a julienne first and then going across it to chop it. So that's it for that. Now that goes in. Also a nice additive to that, depending on where you live and your location, is sumac, S-U-M-A-C. It's a spice, it's a berry actually, and it has a tangy citrus-like flavor. It's very red, it's really good. You want to buy it ground, that's the easiest way to buy it and then store it in an airtight container, but sumac is really, really good. Um, if, you're, if you live in an area with a Middle Eastern population, they will have it for sure. So, oh my gosh, look at that, isn't that wonderful? Now, there's a couple ways that this can be served. The Italians would add their leftover bread to it. Day-old bread, cubit, and put that in because what's going to happen are the longer this sits, these juices out of the bottom are going to get sucked up by the bread and I'll tell you what, it's heavenly. And then of course the Greeks, Mediterranean types will add toasted pita bread. That's equally as good. Either way you have a really wonderful salad. And then serve it on a bed of greens and but one thing about the bread is you don't want to add that until just before you're serving it. Um, pita bread, especially. Day-old Italian bread, you could get away with that actually up to a day before. I like the way it acts as a sponge. But anyway, so we have this without the bread. And I'm just going to taste it to see if the dressing was right. Sure was. Mmm. Another additive to this, actually could use just a little bit more olive oil. Just a little bit. Um, another additive is cubed feta. That's really good too. That will get a little messy looking in a couple of days. But this will hold up well. Um, it's an excellent salad. I think what I'll do is I happen to have a little bit of escarole that I am going to horse chop. Get the bottom of that. And then dress it with a little of the oil. Now, how lovely is that? And you can see you actually make a lot with one cucumber, one tomato, a half of an onion. It does make quite a bit. So, give that a whirl. It's nice in the summer, in the spring, and in the fall when the tomatoes come in season and the cucumbers. Oh my god, it's really good. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you the next time. Thanks for joining me.